I think that this is just, you know, th this is like the crack that I need, the tiny little crack that I need to get in. And after a few years then, you know, I started to contribute a little bit to the sports reporting. And eventually then I had the chance to take it over in 2009 or so. And I've been there for the last 14 years and I've had the privilege of covering World Cups, Olympic Games, summer and winter, European Championships. I was in the stadium the night that uh, Stephen er or Christian Eriksson suffered his heart attack, which was the biggest story of the Euros a couple of years ago. So it's been a great privilege to do that. But I was kind of sneaky in, in how I got to do it, you know. And that comes back from the thing of like, you know, I wish I had realized who I was as a younger man than what I was, you know, because like when you realize that winning isn't everything, in fact, that it's entirely irrelevant. And I know it can sound bizarre for somebody who works in sport to say that, but that's really what I'd like to pass on to the next generation of people, you know, the next generation of people that I coach or that I play with or that I work with or train with, that winning isn't everything. The whole thing to, when it comes down to be it sports or journalism is being the best that you can be in yourself at that moment. If you can do that, nothing more can be expected and nothing less can be accepted. So it's that challenge every day when I get up and of going out and making the best podcast, playing the best bit of Gaelic football or hurling, the best bit of jiu-jitsu that I can do, being the best coach I can be, the best dad I can be, the best husband I can be. And that to me is worth so much more than any medal I ever won or any prize or any award that I've ever been given because it's a constant. And I think that that for both journalists and for athletes, that that's something that we could all be striving for together would have been 1994 when Sunday's well beat young Munster in the Munster Senior Cup final and Musgrave Park was packed and those were the days when you got big crowds for the Munster Senior Cup it was the decade when the AIL was really flying as well and I remember my dad who was in his 80s at that stage yeah he would have been coming yeah, around that age coming up to 80 and I remember we took um, a, a stool out of the the bar a chair out of the bar and the clubhouse the well and he stood up on that so he could see properly leaning on my back to make sure that he could see everything what was a terrific performance by the well that day and the last agency that i worked for was a small independent agency here in chicago it was called trisect it doesn't exist anymore but um it had the opportunity at the time to uh to pitch for the bears business to be their agency of record um, so we had the opportunity to work with, um, you know, the Bears marketing team at the time and um, kind of build out a, a long term vision for fan development and strategic development um, for the team. And we won the business. And so I was able to work, you know, on the agency side with the Bears as my client for a couple of years. And that just re-solidified that for me, right? That was like, I, I remember sitting in a meeting the first time I had a chance to like really sit down and dig in with the marketing team and being like, oh yes, this is it. <laughs> I'm back home, I'm back in the right spot. But then also looking at them and, and looking at kind of, you know, the small piece of their business that we touched on the agency side and seeing everything else that they did and me being like, I wanna be on that side. I would rather be in your chair. And so um, I left, agencies, I decided to go to business school, um, just knowing that, you know, I had a strategic communication background, but I didn't have any sort of finance or like accounting background. And I wanted to round that out a little bit more before I got fully into a brand side role. Um, so I went to the University of Oregon, uh, which I'm was an incredible kind of two year experience that I did. I, I like quit my job and went full time into into business school. But um, the program at the University of Oregon is, is uh, it's a, the Warsaw Sports Business Program. Like it's designed to train, you know, biz, like sports through the business yeah. lens, right? Like business through the sports lens. Um, so did two years in that program. And kind of as I was rounding out my experience there, um, an opportunity opened up on the Bears marketing team, right? I had kept in touch with the, the folks that I had previously been working with. And when the role um, opened up here, it was kind of just a natural um, you know, transition for me to come in house full time here. Um, and so that was 2017 and I've, I've been here ever since. To be associated with, and now that going back to Munster to give an example, um, that's one of the things that attracted me from Munster rugby. It's the people and it was the feeling of community. And if you look at the five values of Munster rugby, you know, what, whatever they use at this stage, that's one of the things that, that caught me is that sense of community. And some of the best people I've met, Gareth Fitzgerald, that, uh, you know, both of our CEO many years ago that, that passed away, he was somebody that drove that. And there's so many people still left at Munster doing that. And 
uh, the example of I want to work with people like that and I want to be associated with that and 